Hello, hello, hello. It's Cooking with Camille, and I'm back. And guess who I got with me? Cooking with Camille and Jean. Jean here with me today, too, going to help me and help me stand because, you know, I had surgery last week, and I'm doing good, but he's helping me. Say hi, Jean. Oh, hi. I'm going to help her in case she fall down, but I got her. <laughs> okay, we're going to make something easy today. We're going to do some turkey burgers and some fries, and we're going to make some Danish, some uh, apple Danish, okay, out of biscuits. Remember that. So you're going to need some rosemary. You're going to need some garlic powder, some black pepper, some breadcrumbs, some garlic pepper, some Velveeta cheese. I got some provolone cheese, some powdered sugar, some biscuits, cream cheese, apple. You're going to need an onion. You're going to need an egg some ketchup, some uh, ground turkey, and some, we got some crinkle fries here. Okay, let's get this party started. First of all, we're gonna get the ground turkey and put in the dish. We're gonna do some garlic powder, some little rosemary, say about a half a teaspoon. You can just guess, you know, I'm just gonna measure, you know how I do, measure it without it. And we're going to do a little garlic seasoning. Okay, Mr. McDonald's having a time opening the containers. But you got a, a little... lock on here? <laughs> a oh, lock, yeah, yeah. For you to stay out my kitchen. What kind of Look how easy that was. <laughs> so just I a little garlic. A okay, then we're going to put, <laughs> put some breadcrumbs in there and some pepper. Just a little bit, not the whole can, Mr. McGowan. Yeah, a little no. more, a little more, a little more, a little more. Okay, that's good. And we're going to put some pepper. Mr. McGowan made some liver and onions yesterday. We didn't put it on there. But he, oh, my God, it was so good. We'll have to do that on another show. Okay? Then we're going to put an egg in there. Not the shells, Mr. McGowan, just the egg. I can, put, I can do that. Very good. And then we're going to do half of the onion. But I think I'd rather have the onion, grilled onion, on top of my burger. Because this is the burger. Then we're going to put a little ketchup. See if he can open that one. Oh wow. Tell me when to stop. Okay. <coughs> That's good. Okay. okay, and then we're gonna mix it all together. Now you got to do like me. I use my hand. I don't use spoons. Use I don't your use hand. My hand. You gotta use your hand. Oh, y'all hear that noise? Yeah, I hate that noise. What if I ain't wash my hand? You wash them. I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. And mix it all together. Just to go on our burgers. We got the grease going for the fries. And got uh, the oven. We're going to preheat the oven to 375. We're going to make our uh, danish while he mixing all that together. Now the hamburger we're going to put on a little later because we want them to be hot. So we're going to do our Danish while we're waiting. Okay, now we got that all mixed up. So now we're going to cut this onion. Baby. What? You think I should have used gloves when I did that? Why well, you need gloves? This is me and you eating this. Oh, Ain't so, nobody else eating it. So we eating at home then. It's good, huh? Yeah, we okay. at home. Okay. okay. We at home. We ain't, at, we ain't at a restaurant, okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we ain't going to feed nobody. Okay. Even if I was feeding somebody, if they at my house, they better take my hands, okay? <laughs> I ain't playing with them. Okay, that's <laughs> you all. take your butt home if you don't want to eat our food. I'm just checking out, you know? Okay, okay. Okay, okay we're going to um, slice this onion. Okay, we got our onion cut for our grilled onions. And we're going to clean up a little bit before we start the next step. Okay, we're going to start our Danish. We got our biscuits out. We open up our, our apple. We're going to do apple. That's what he picked out. He didn't want the peach. We're going to do apple. And we're going to get our cream cheese. And we're going to take only half of it. We'll save the other half for another day. Okay. So get a little milk out the refrigerator, Mr. McGrath. Gene, I'm going to put calling Mr. McGowan. And just add just a, like a tablespoon, a teaspoon. Teaspoon. You say teaspoon? Teaspoon. I don't got a spoon. That's good. Okay, that's good. Smart mouth. Okay, we're going to mix that together until it's real smooth. Mm. 
Okay, we're going to take our biscuits and we're going to spread it out. Spread, oops, I broke it. Okay, but it's all right. Just mash it. So it cover your whole pan or cover whatever you're making. I'm going to try something. I'm going to see with the rolling pan. Hold on. Okay, so we I did do the rolling pan. I think it works better and it stayed together. This is the one I broke. So, um... We're going to do it with the rolling pan, so you want to make them kind of big. And then we want to spray our pan. Let's spray our pan with a little olive oil so they won't stick. We got eight biscuits, so I can also put them in the middle or get another pan. Okay? And then we're just going to set that in a circle like that. And go ahead and finish the rest of them, and then we'll be back. Okay, everybody, let's do some fries on. Everybody know how to cook french fries. Everybody know how to do burger. Mr. McGowan back there getting the burgers together. And I'm going to show you how to do the, uh, the Danish. So we're going to take our cream cheese. First of all, I think I want to do butter. Let's put some butter on there first. You want me? Huh? Yeah, you want the burger though? Uh-huh. Rub the butter all around it. I went on and got a cookie sheet. You can use whatever you want. I couldn't find my cookie sheet because when you have a man in the kitchen, you can't find your stuff because he don't know where it's at, but I found it. You blame that on me? Yes, I am blaming it on you. That's what all women do. Blame it on a man. <laughs> Ain't nobody else in the house. Who blame else it on the man. What you want to blame it on the dog? Blame it on yourself. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut it on short. I'm gonna cut it short because y'all gonna make me. I'm gonna have to hit him with my good knee, y'all. Blame me on yourself. Okay, after you do it with butter, then we're gonna add our cream cheese. Cream cheese. Move your cream cheese around in there. And if you don't have enough with that half, then go ahead and. Well, I got eight of them, so I got another one in another pan. So just move it around like so. And then you're going to spoon your apples on top. You know what? Matter of fact, I think I'm going to take them and cut them up in a bowl. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, with the apples, I took some cinnamon, brown sugar, and white sugar and mixed it together. Some, you don't have to do it, but I like mine's a little sweeter. Then we're going to add it on top of the cream cheese, like so. And don't go all the way to the edges. You don't want to go to the edges. And cut them. I diced them up real good. So that's how we're going to do them. You can do whatever flavor you want. I just did what we had in the house. Okay. Then I'm going to sprinkle some nutmeg on them. Okay. I got them all done. I'm going to add a little more brown sugar on them. It's going to melt in the oven for the flavor. And then you're going to sprinkle it with a little nutmeg. Like so. And then we'll ice them when they come out. Okay? Go ahead and finish them. And then we'll put them in the oven at 375 for 15 to 20 minutes until golden brown. Okay? That's what we're going to do. How are you coming with them hamburgers over there, Mr. McGowan? Coming good. Okay, don't burn the french fries. I'm not. Okay. All right, y'all. First time cooking with the McGowan's. Y'all, I thank y'all for your prayers and uh, pray while my surgery went good. I'm standing on it. It's only been a week and two days. So I'm doing good. And I got, I'm, my therapist really loving it because I'm taking the pain, y'all. I'm a soldier. I'm taking the pain. I'm taking the pain because y'all know me and I can't sit down too long. So continue to keep me in your prayers. Uh, <laughs> Pray for my husband. He's been cooking for me and cleaning for me and washing. And he's just been a good husband. I want to thank him for him, the Lord putting him in my heart too. All right, y'all. Let's go and put these in the oven. And we'll be back. Okay, his french fries looking good, y'all. Let's look at his burgers. Oh, my goodness. They look good. They thick. So now we're going to grill some onions while we're right here and clean up our mess. Okay, with our onions, we're just going to break them up. You know me, I like to season the onions. Season the onions make the burger taste better. So we're going to put a little 
garlic pepper on it. I'm going to throw a little rosemary on it. Ooh. And just some, uh, some pepper. Okay. Until it comes to a golden brown. Okay. Okay, when you're at home and you can't get out shopping, so you use what you got in the house. So you ain't gotta have buns every time to have a hamburger. So we're gonna use bread. So we got the onions on, we got the bread on, so we can toast it a little bit, and then we're gonna make our sandwich. Okay, we're getting the plate ready. We got ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise, and some grilled onions on this one. He didn't want no lettuce, no tomato. So you want tomato, McGon? You want a tomato, so no, this is what we're doing. Oh, no, ma'am. Okay, I told you we try that way. <laughs> oh, you call me old woman? Ma'am's always for old women, ma'am. <laughs> okay, old women is called ma'am. Y'all hear that? So when y'all read about him in the paper, it's because I done kicked it with my good leg. Okay, let me look. The Danish are coming along. Uh, we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, these are... Oh, Gene, you touched this one. Look at this one. He accident, y'all. Accident. And look at that. I made two of them turnovers. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to spray this one with some olive oil for dessert. We're going to spray the rest of them. Now I made some um, glaze. It's like a, a glaze to go over them. Just a... Uh, Powder sugar, a little butter, and um, vanilla flavor, okay? And I'm going to uh, stir it over. Yeah, I'm getting ready to stop because my leg's starting to hurt. Okay, hold on. And then we're going to take it, make sure it's thick, and you're just going to drizzle it across it like so. You could do it thick, you could do it thin, however you want it. And all this is, is you could put lemon in there for lemon flavor. You could do whatever flavors you want. I'm going to throw some on this. so hot that it's better to do them when they're cooler because then uh, the glaze will stay on there better but it's fine okay I'm gonna scoot one up for a picture yes can you hold it please yes you want me to hold it yes can you hold it please without messing it up this time look at that everybody Look at that. That's just a burnt, getting dark at the bottom. Okay. And then look at the turnover. Turnovers look good. Look at those. Nice. Okay, let's get a picture. There's our cheeseburger. We'll grill onions on a toasted bun with some french fries and ketchup and an apple turnover. Look at that, y'all. Ain't that wonderful? Thank you again, everybody. Thank you for joining in. Gotta go. Leg hurting. God bless you. Please like and share. Thank you for your prayers. Bye-bye. That's grilled turkey burger with a toasted bun, some french fries, ketchup, and an apple danish. Bye-bye.